Hello everyone, welcome to Open Source Code. So in this tutorial, we are going to look how we can make a shape like this. So there are two ways that you can do is uh, basically you have any shape and from a plane you want a cylinder or a pipe which is extruding from it. So how it can be done. So here what I have right now is a cylinder which is separate and the tube. Now, first mechanism would be to actually uh, place your cylinder just on top where you want. So just grab it on Y axis and place it exactly where you want it. Right? So this is the top view. I'll grab it on X axis and I'll place it here. Right? So if you see it from the side view, exactly over here you can adjust it as per your required fine now what we need to do is simply select either of the objects go to modifier and you can add a boolean modifier so it has different options we will say union and then with one of the objects selected we need to select the other object here we'll select the cylinder you can use this dropper also if you have multiple objects that you might want to select fine the cylinder is already selected now this is now joined connected you can see the wireframe how it is connected and uh, when you say apply now you have one single shape right Let's leave the cylinder aside the second object which you use now in this case I feel the uh, geometry and the lines how meshes and other things get added may not be suitable nothing wrong with this idea so there is another interesting way which we can use so in this case what we are going to do is we are simply going to start with a new file now so we have this cube and suppose you want to add a circular pipe cylindrical pipe over here so go to edit mode first thing that we need to do is we need to select the face and subdivide it so we we'll subdivide it either you can use the subdivide menu and increase the number of segments over here right so this is the subdivision and wherever you want the tube to be coming out let us say from the center part you can do a box select or a circular select let's say if I go for a box select and just select few of the faces like this and now this is what I want to convert to a circular shape so right click on it you should get a loop tool menu now if this is not enabled what you need to do is simply go to edit preferences and go to add-ons and here search for loop tools and enable this mesh loop tool now here you simply need to right click say loop tools and circle and that gets converted into a circular shape and then simply extrude this and then you get this pipe shape now compared to the previous union example if you look at so compared to the previous example if you look at this this looks much better at least this is what I feel so this was an example how you can add circular geometry on a plane by subdividing the surface using the loop tools. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe to my channel for further updates. Thanks for watching.